so last night was the first panic attack I've had this year I would say um I don't really talk about this on my YouTube because the more I indulge this sort of thing the worse it gets which is something that I learned in therapy but I thought that today's vlog could be really really helpful for people that are suffering with anxiety or panic attack and I do have quite a lot of friends right now that are in that situation or pe people that are taking medication to try and help ease these symptoms I personally didn't take medication but I went through two years of absolute hell and honestly I think if it started again I don't know if I could do it um, and I think when you start diving down that rabbit hole which is what happened last night um, you get so scared that that's going to be like the rest of your life you just get sucked down into this negative path and you can't get out so yeah last night was really eventful um, we sat down to eat dinner and my trigger is like eating food. So when I was younger, sorry, this is like a completely different video to what I normally film, but there will be some home stuff, but I just thought it was going to be helpful. I didn't know what to vlog and it's actually going to end up being a nice vlog anyway. But when I was younger, I got extreme food poisoning to the point where my pet, my, my mum actually thought I was going to die. Um, and... At the same sort of time my parents had broke up and then it started triggering these panic attacks at the time i didn't know it was panic attacks and i just basically if anyone's ever been anxious before you will know that your stomach feels really uneasy you might need the toilet you might feel sick and i personally find it really really hard to eat and then i get really worried especially when i was younger because i was so skinny i'm just naturally quite a petite person and i was so skinny um, the fact that I wasn't eating was making me really conscious that I wasn't eating, but then it, it triggered this cycle because I would panic that I wasn't eating, but then I would have a panic attack so I couldn't eat. And that's the, that is the same cycle that happens now, but touch wood, um, I don't even know if there's any wood. Um, I don't really, I'm, I, I spent a lot of time in therapy and training myself to not get this and it's taken a lot of time but last night we were sat down eating dinner and I just burst into tears and I don't normally tell anyone because the more I talk about it the worse it gets so I don't really know why I voiced it it just feels so scary in the moment so I did and uh I just ran to the room sat in darkness which is my go-to when this happens it always has been since I was younger and Sam sat with me the entire night um until I calm myself the thing that we did actually to get me out of my head um and into like the present moment was do this really silly game which i i know anxiety is different for everyone but this is what helped in that particular moment and i would say a word and then he would say a word so i'd be like the and he'd be like dog and then it would just end up being really silly and because it was so quick like we were doing it really fast it it stopped my mind going down that really deep rabbit hole so i thought today i'm gonna film a vlog because it's really important for me the next day after I've had a really anxious day to do things that get me away from being anxious. And I know if anyone has experienced this, you'll know there's tricks that you can do to get you in a better space. And I know all of mine now. I'm really grateful for that. And it took a lot of time, honestly, a lot of time. But I'm just gonna show you what the kitchen looks like after a really anxious episode. So if you watch any of my other vlogs, everything's normally pretty tidy, me and, Ta me and Sam tidy every night everything's immaculate before we go to bed and this is what it looks like this morning this is the current state of the kitchen which absolutely never happens woke up this morning and i was like i am so glad that mess is there because it gives me something to do to make sure my mind doesn't start slipping because it's really easy once you've gone down the rabbit hole to fall back the next day so there's a list of things i'm going to do today I'm going to share them with you guys. First of all, we are going to speed clean this kitchen, get that done, and then we're going to get our bodies moving because anxiety gets trapped in your body and it's really, really important to move. And for me, the best thing to do is pick an exercise you really, really enjoy and you get a lot of happiness from. So I'm going to book onto swimming this morning if there's any spaces left. And I'm going to swim a couple lengths and then I'm going to come home. But exercise is amazing for anxiety because it is trapped in the body. So let's get a crack on with this and we're going to go swimming.
This world of ticking clocks I hope I'm getting through Being back from swimming about an hour and a half, I'm feeling absolutely great. The swim was amazing. I swam about half a mile and I just loved it. Like the whole time I was doing it, I was like, I feel really good. And I think that helps as well, like when you're repeating really positive affirmation in your head. So I was like, I feel so good. And then I was getting really nervous when I finished because I needed to eat something and like food is a huge trigger for me. Not that, not that like, it's really weird because my trigger is, I'm not triggered by food because I don't want to eat the food. I'm triggered by food because I get a panic attack because my head associates it with me being really sick. So I was like feeling a bit cautious about how I was gonna react and I've been absolutely fine. I've just like named my anxiety and I've been like, no, like this is not happening again. Like I, I dealt with that for so long and it's not happening now. So I ended up having a really good breakfast. I made some egg muffins. I'll pop, pop a little clip in here. I make them every Sunday and they're just so easy because every morning I just pop them in the air fryer, cook them so that they're, they're heated up and then I eat them before work. They're just the easiest thing. They're really nutritious. I put a bit of cheese in there for fat. So you put the egg yolk in there for fat as well. And then I put loads of veggies in and then I normally have some toast or something. I actually had a donut this morning because I just think no pressure. So yeah, I've had that and then a big bowl of fruit. I've, I'm feeling really good. And then I'm about to head up to Clifton with my mum. I just rang her and I was like, do you wanna come with me? And we're gonna go look around some interior design shops, which I'm really excited about. I just want some inspo for the spare room. I know Sam really wants black in there, but I'm really gonna try. We've got a lot of black in this room, which was his choice. So I really feel like I should get the choice of the spare room. <laughs> I really want the spare room to be like very chill, calm, zen vibes and the lounge. Like that's what I, I to be fair, the bedroom's very chill, but it's like got quite a lot of dark features. So yeah, we're heading up to Clifton. I can't wait. I personally love going in interior design shops. So that's like another thing on my list to help deal with feeling a bit anxious. And I also like to be busy. So we're gonna head up there now and have a little look around.
Clifton. So me and mum had a really nice little wander around White Ladies Road, which is really nice in Clifton. And we just went in a few of the interior design shops. We also went in Scoop, which is like a natural food shop and you can get like oats and peanut butter and all those things. Actually, I actually picked up some little, these are Sam's favorites. That's a really big one, I'll save that for him. Um, they're white chocolate covered freeze dried raspberries. Mm, that's so nice. But Sam loves those, so I picked him up some as a little treat when he gets home from work. I also stopped in Tesco because I'm gonna make a chicken and leek pie tonight and I needed some cream, so I stopped up in Tesco. Picked up some new sunflowers because ours are looking like they've seen better days. I look really shiny today. So we've picked up some sunflowers because sunflowers are my favorite flower. I love the color yellow and I just think they're so happy. Like that's such a nice, happy little touch to a house. So I'm gonna top them up. And I also picked up some little things in B&M. So I picked up a Willow and Bay wooden wick. There's like a crackle candle. I thought they were really nice, cozy colors. And it smells really nice. So this one was vanilla and amber wood. And it says it has 80 hours burn time, but I really like that. It looks like it's gonna start to rain. And I just feel like having a really cozy evening. I'm gonna have a bath later on. I think I'm gonna sit down and finish off some canvases. And I just wanna light some candles. I'm not really feeling a tea, so I'm just gonna have a little juice. Just sit on the floor and like get in a little zone. And I also picked up this little metal, I don't know what it is, storage basket. So I'm gonna roll my face cloths and pop them on there and then pop them on our storage. this for the first time last week and it was really good so we're gonna remake it again this week and then I'm just gonna have a really nice bath and just chill out and it's really helped with my emotions I'm feeling a bit more emotional this evening um, so that's why I've been painting and then I'll have a bath because a bath always makes me feel so much better then I'm planning on journaling before I go to bed so I'll write I will write three things that I'm grateful for and then I'll probably listen to a sleep hypnosis, but that's how I deal with this sort of thing, um, if it comes up. 